what's up is Macarius today I'm making a new video about how I finished top two in the global tournament I know it has been a long time since I uploaded my last video a few months ago but <clears throat> I'm trying this uh, period uh, to back uploading again and also I'm thinking about commenting uh, in my ladder matchups when I push and also uh, playing uh, like live global tournaments next time so I want to know your opinions uh, about that so uh, let's start first game uh, I'm here against Matt I know this guy uh, plays E giant so uh, let's see how I win that with my deck. I put spear, and this matchup you mustn't put mortar uh, offense. You usually need mortar defensive all the time, unless he spent a lot, and you know if he has the giant in cycle, or you can out cycle them. But usually, uh, mortal defensive all the game, so I'm here not having a good choice. So I fire the inferno drag. So here, spear was enough, but he put the nado, and I didn't expect that. Also, I didn't expect that fire spirit jump to the bats. So I have to zap this I drag, or it was gonna take my tower. Here I was in rush of my guards, so the golden doesn't dash on my tower. Okay, here he put the barbarel, and actually I didn't want to put hook in it. I would be so low in elixir. So usually you need to switch lane uh, against E giant, like you always need to go opposite lane of them. Yeah, and this in this matchup too you need to go mortar defensive like uh, to prevent uh, that they out cycle you like uh, they put e giants and he can lighten your mortar and then e giant connects the tower and you not have anything to e giant so you need usually to uh, put mortar defensive like most of the time so that they don't out cycle you with the lightning uh, here I put guards. I thought that the golden would dash to the tower, so I put here in the middle spot. And here I was waiting for my opponent, I think. Yeah, yeah. Also, here I didn't uh, put zap in barn barrel. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I put, yeah, I think to prevent uh, the ship damage. Okay, here I put mortar defensive. Here I know he was gonna go e, e giant push, so I'm trying to stop it. Like I'm trying to force a response in the other lane. Yeah, that's why I always saying to go opposite lane so that they don't make counter push in same lane and stack some damage. Yeah, here and I put mortar because I know he spent a lot there. So look this, I know he is not having enough elixir for giant, I know he is not having fire spirit. So I took that and zapped the golden so the horde can connect to the tower. And yeah look the tower health, it has been reduced so much. So I think this was the reason of my win in that game. Here he played a good fence. <sighs> And here I was nervous. Uh, it's like I was at 39 wins, and this game is considered the 40 wins game, so I was pretty nervous. And he also, too, he, he was like aggressive, too. And he was must be passive in that game, not like that spamming all in the bridge. And yeah, here uh, I decided to ignore the golden knight dash, or the golden knight hits, I mean. And here I'm trying to put mortar and go opposite lane, so that when they get lightning on the mortar, I could be already cycled to another mortar. Like this, you can see, I put hook bat, spear, zap, he put lightning, and then I back to the mortar again. 
so that's why you should put mortar early to cycle another one here I was lucky that the golden doesn't dash on the tower otherwise I would lose and here I started to know that it will be just a fight of cycle spells because me and him know that we can't get uh, to each other tower only by spell cycle and I know from here that I was gonna win because I, my deck uh, cycle is faster than him so I decided to start cycling fire zap and I know that I will win like he was uh, Loki's elixir uh, he was away from the lightning elixir so it was a pretty tough matchup and now let's move to next one I was here against Pedro if you guys don't know him he's the best minor mortar queen player in the world like Igor too he is one of the best mortar players in the world and let's see how I win that first I started with hook and then he put mortar and you can activate your king uh, in this position by spear like if you put mortar like this uh, you can activate king uh, by putting spear like that so the king activation helps so much in this game against minor decks usually so it's important to know that and to take chance of if they put mortal like this and you have spear in cycle okay i know now he's lonely elixir i was thinking about going hook but i thought that i have to defend the queen first so i can go hook and here i didn't want to take uh, queen hits so i put hook here you can put spear in, spear in normal spot because you already activated the king <sighs> okay uh, i think i went mortar maybe i think yeah, it's, it was a good chance to go mortar like he is not having queen he's not having mortar he's not having poison so i did use that and went mortar and i know that he was gonna lock prediction on those guards like he thought that i would put guards and he assumed that i put it and he looked and i know that he will look so i waited here i think it wasn't a good zap yeah uh, i mean it was uh, it's okay the hook took hit and he wasn't uh, he was forced to put a spirit because it was a higher hp tower and usually you need in this game like to take damage in both towers so minor queen mortar players usually go same lane so you have to go two lanes so that they can go on one and you can focus on one lane too like like each giant game you need to switch lanes of them too here it was a good chance to put horde against the mortar because poison took a long time to kill it here I missed the fire on the tower, uh, I was uh, pretty nervous uh, Yeah, I think from that point that it's I can win like by the damage lead and I have king activation uh, so the game was going pretty well for me uh, Here I think I fired the queen uh, because I if I put horde or gods it's gonna kill it and I would spend more elixir so I thought that uh, fire is enough and here I am pressuring two lanes that's what I'm talking about pressuring two lanes will make him in a bad situation and usually you need to focus on the lane of the opposite of your weak uh, tower okay uh, here I didn't expect those skills. I heard it a bit a bad zap. I don't know why he was paying so many well played, but uh, it's okay. I was ignoring that. It was a good minor by him. <sighs> and look, this mortar. It it was so good against the queen. And here he missed the mortar. I think he was so nervous that he missed. And from that point, I just, I'm, sh I was sure 100% that I won this game. 
like look the damage difference and I can cycle fire zip easily and he has a mountain to climb so and yeah this fire in spirit I was lucky about it and bets to hit the tower so I know uh, that the two fires can get the tower and here he was if, if I ignored the queen or I didn't fire the bit it, I would have been in a problem so I decided to play safely I didn't want to risk anything so I went fire zap on the queen and here I don't know why he locked the hook I think yeah, he was so nervous that game he, he, play, he usually play better than that he was so nervous of course he didn't play that much well because usually if he played so well I can't beat him so it's okay let's move to next one it was against nexus that guy plays with expo queen nado uh, e spirit rocket it was really really tough matchup to my deck it's like how i'm supposed to connect when he when i put hog he put nado and i put mortar he has tesla queen uh, if I put her in his expo, he can e spirit Nado, and yeah, it was really really tough matchup. So let's see how I beat him. I think here he was supposed to Tesla Nado, but I don't know he went rocket. It's okay. Uh, I put guards here, then mortar, so that if he has queen in cycle, and I put mortar, the queen targets on guards, and so I can fire the queen so against the queen usually you mustn't put a queen a mortar when you know that he has queen in cycle you need to put like something that can distract like for example pets behind the mortar or uh, maybe wait mortar till he put queen then you can go opposite lane so yeah he here good nado by him he needs a horde uh here i just i don't know if i will go zap or go guards but i think i went guards yeah he locks those guards it's okay i went mortar here like to block his tesla if he put by that guard and then i noticed that he's low in elixir so i zapped the tesla and that helped me so much like see how much damage i got like I know he rocketed, then he put Tesla, then he put his spirit. Like I know he's zero elixir, so it was a risky zap. But yeah, yeah, uh, I made this because I know he's low in elixir, and he put Xbo, so I went toward the hook, <coughs> because I know he's not having his spirit in cycle yet, and here I put hook so that Xbo doesn't look much damage on that tower. Because you need that game to prevent expo hits as much as possible. So if they got expo lock, they can just go defensive and then they start cycling rocket in your tower. So you mustn't give them the chance of doing that. Yeah, and then I went hook fire here. I waited for the hook so that I get elixir fire too, so I can fire expo and the queen. Here I think he put Valkyrie. Uh, here I was afraid to go mortal offense, and I know he was gonna rocket, so I was trying to get like I can pressure pretty well after that rocket, and yeah I put mortar so that he he can't go expo uh, queen uh, if I didn't uh, do mortal defense like I put and I know he was gonna rocket cycle but. It's better than he just go expo queen nado spirit and i don't know if i can stop the push or not so yeah i think it was a good move here the hook betrayed me i thought that it would hit the expo so i didn't but uh, then i put spear and zap so that it doesn't look much damage on my tower and here I was in a bad situation, like I can't go mortar offense, and if I put defense, he can start cycling rockets, and he would beat me in rocket cycle, so. Here I fired the queen and uh, expo, 
and then here he put log like thinking that I can go spear but I saw that he would put it so I went hog I didn't want to risk anything so yeah here he rocketed good rocket by him because he has Valk uh, Tesla so and I can break through so it was a good chance for him to rocket and yeah he's trying to pressure me by expo and by over commitment in defense he can rocket me so I was really in a bad situation like I I was supposed to defense and he is also gonna rock cycle and I don't know how to connect so so from here I started to realize that I must fire zap cycle him like I need to get fire zap one more and I don't know if the rocket will finish my tower or not so I need like to also apply kind of pressure here to uh, delay his uh, rocket and yeah look here missed the log and yeah we here by those two spear hits it survived me the game it, it was so close like you need to pressure like this so you make him delay in the rocket or even if he put earlier you can take some damage so it was a real nice win there then I was here against that Japanese guy uh, I don't know him personally uh, but he was playing RG Ghost Queen uh, it was abnormal RG meta deck and it was making hard because of the queen and because of the fire like he can fire the horde I mean RG lightning it's it could be beaten easily or not easily I mean the matchup isn't that bad but with fire it's considered a problem to me uh, okay I hear I think I went zap maybe or mortar I can't remember well I think yeah, I went zap here I went mortar opposite lane and I was mistaken in that I should uh, put mortar defense I think I know uh, that he was playing with fire like I saw him in the global tournament playing it with fire and here I mistaken like I should put the horde on the queen and put guards on the RG like he is not having his spirit and if he locked the guards will still alive so by mistake like this he took like 1200 damage so it was a uh, not a good start at all and yeah here I was luckily he tried to lock my spear a pre lock so uh, I got here luckily that the ghost turned around and switched it to the other lane so I didn't care about defensing in that lane as it was more HP and here uh, of course I know that I'm in a problem I can't go mortar offense at all <sighs> like he has queen he has RG and even if I tried to hoard or make counter push he has spells that counters so it wasn't good situation at all here I think yeah I zapped the queen and the tower so the hook take two shots like one hook shot in that game differs of course he also here fired the horde and yeah I think it was bad guards by me I was supposed to put it a bit lower yeah good sp good e spirit by him he was over pressuring me and that RG hits in that game is so annoying honestly like you need uh, against uh, every RG shot like you break through with hook and it's almost impossible because of the fisher ghost phoenix log it's really hard for me to break with the hook and even with the mortar too because of the queen so and he also uh, against rg uh, you must always go opposite lane even if tower is more hp but yeah going same lane will not help you at all because of he will just spam like ghost like queen stuff like that would be annoying to defense then you can break then then you put defense in counter push 
so you need usually to switch lens that hog mortar deck usually like every game you need to go opposite lanes of your opponent unless the unless tower of the same lane is so low in hp so you can defense and spell cycle but otherwise you usually need to go opposite lane of your opponents because you not you don't have anything heavy in the deck like you're not having tank like you not having slow troops or slow cards and here i have to zap the rg phoenix so if rg took that hit the he would fire at the tower and I would lose. And here if he started to fire lock my tower he can win. Like two first two locks can take my tower. I think he didn't know that. He didn't know the damage of spells in the global tournament. And here I was lucky that the hook hit. And yeah he called the queen that was nice to me. <sighs> yeah and I need here like. I need one more hook hit then I start fire cycling and I was here not luckily that the hook didn't hit but yeah look the, the difference is one HB between my tower and his tower and I think here he was he mistaken he was supposed to fire my tower and start cycling my fire start cycling sire in my tower instead of just putting the horde and he also here mistaken the RG he was supposed to cycle spells in my tower and yeah here I was so lucky like he needs one or two more seconds so he can win and yeah that one HP survived me honestly because if he locked if he decided to ignore uh, the hook and he killed without lock and he locked my tower the tower would be one to one HP because the lock damage is 58 HP 58 hit point HP here I'm um, against Bag. I know this player is one of the best minor world breaker player in the world. He has good finish with it. Yeah, like 20 global tournament, 27 in ladder. So this guy always plays so good with his deck. Uh, here I put mortar middle and I put in position like this. So if he has spear in cycle, uh, he doesn't activate his king. So I put it in that position instead of higher middle. Here I put Horde instead of Bats on the Knight because I thought he would put Bats behind. So if I put Bats and he put Bats, my Bats would go in vain and I should have to spend more Elixir. So I decided to go Horde better. And here I decided to keep Zap and yeah, and here also I decided to keep Zap. I put Mortar here. Like I need to save Zap for spear or for bats or for wall if he use it as a kind of pressure. So here I thought that he here I thought he put miner in the front because there was mortar. Like I thought he would put miner in that spot so mortar connects in it instead of the tower. But yeah, there was already spears, so I think this was smart move from him. Like he knows that I would put guards in that spot, so he put in the behind. Yeah, and then I went here a uh, horde for the night. I think generally that matchup is not good to my deck, like because of the cannon. Yeah, it's making it so hard to break. Like how I'm supposed to go, and he has cannon, he has wall, he has yeah, he has at least miners that can chip damage in my tower, log, in my spear, in my guards, but I don't know how. I think yeah it's to win you should have go opposite lane too I'd like to pressure just to pressure with mortar till they use cannon it in defense then you can get red and go hook or maybe you can do some tricks that you will be going hook in that lane in that lane so they thought you will put and you go opposite and stuff like that like you need to uh, conflict him And yeah, here I put horde. I thought that he would go with breaker, so I put horde like this, and also uh, in that position so that to prevent value fire. And oh, here he mis he mistaken in cannon position, and that helped me a lot. Also, that fire in wall breaker also helped me. Like I thought, they would 
uh, they would explode in the mortar and luckily they didn't and I was hanging fire in my hand so I was predicting that he would uh, pull it and yeah he here put minor like as I told you he thought that I would go hook as he's not having cannon in cycle and I decided to better wait like I thought he was just gonna spam in that tower like he thinking that I will go hook so I decided to better wait and that helped me so much here like look mortar locked here and the mortar also here locked too and he was forced to put spear and all that because I was, I was patient and uh, didn't go aggressive hook so you need in some situations to not be going aggressive and you need some patience some weight <sighs> and here from that point i know that i just need only like one more hook hit so that uh the game will be easy for me because in treble i know it's almost impossible to go through like with a minor fire like every 10 seconds it will be so hard for me to stop it and yeah here i put the seven the spear and yeah here i'm starting to cycle fires like here in that hp of tower i know two fires to that will kill the tower so i'm waiting to defense then i just start to cycle here i'm not putting zap because i know that he will he will spam a lot of cards that will force me to go to zap so i was waiting like to get as damage by spear by bats that make it kill by only two fires instead of two fires two zaps but i then noticed that i can't break through so i decided to put fire zap because already there were guards and horde so that if you put guards that need zap uh, i go i go like hog uh, i go like fire i go like fire zap because these were cards that counter this cards that need to zap oh here are things i don't know uh yeah here uh last game against hirutu that guy that finished top one in the global tournament he's so good minor world breaker player and yeah this game also was so amazing Yeah, he, w he was playing like minor magic, wall, pre-card, arrows, valkyrie. Uh, it's like mix between minor deck and Remy deck, so... I think uh, it was pretty interesting and pretty weird deck, but... I think I, man I managed to do well in that game. Yeah, he here he put minor in the front. I thought he would put that here, yeah, and because I thought he was gonna like put magic in the bridge. So they usually minor magic players, they usually go minor here in the front, and then they try to get value by putting magic in the bridge. So usually against this type of decks, you usually need to stack guards in front and to predict the magic. And yeah, also uh, in that game, you need also to go two lanes so that if you go one lane you wouldn't be easy to break through but he didn't give me the chance to uh, to switch lane so i decided to go also same lane of, of him like i tried several times to to switch lanes but he didn't let me in that so i decided that i go defense after i stack some damage Here he was forced to put the Valk because otherwise the bats will take some good damage in the tower. And here uh, I think I put more the defensive bat so because I know he has arrows in cycle and I know he has arrows elixir. So if I put horde or I put another card he would arrows and the wall breaker would damage on my tower and that would, would be in that situation then i put he here hook prediction because i know he would go magic so it was good like if i didn't predict with the hook uh, magic was gonna take three shots in my tower and i will be 
also force it to defense it so it will not be a good thing to me like in that type of matchups you need to prevent any damage you need to, ha to have a damage lead so that's why i think that i was over commitment in defense like that i think here i put hook again yeah because i thought that he would put magic in the bridge like to to compensate the damage that he got in his tower then i went mortar after the bomb tower has died uh, i think uh, i put hurt and i know that he was having arrows but i'm trying to outside kill him like i put cards that i can get back to my hood that and he didn't get back to his arrows yet and yeah here i was lucky that mortar uh, shot in the tower it was good fire by him i almost here uh, missed the fire <laughs> like i was lucky that the phoenix egg uh, hit the guard so the magic uh, stepped uh, forward like if it didn't i would have missed the fire and that's why i put hook like that like i thought that i missed the fire so that magic don't uh, don't get hits on my cards and on my tower and yeah here i am lucky that mortar gets hit um here i think i missed the two uh, like i missed the fire in minor i missed the fire in uh, phoenix so i here put zap on the egg so that it doesn't respawn again and here it was a pretty pretty tough situation like i am not having fire in cycle so i was forced to go like this to go hook bats like hook tanking and bats so and that's two kill okay yeah this was a bad magic he was supposed to put it away uh, of range of fire and tower here i don't know why i didn't zap the tower like i was supposed to make the hook take a hit but i think it's okay i was having the damage lead and we are not that close so that's why i didn't put the zap and then i go hook again because i know that he will go magic in the bridge like i know he's uh, and he need to get any damage and here he fires the magic fires the egg fires the valkyrie it was a good fire and i know he would go out so i put mortar like that and yeah from here i know that it's good game like he not having any way to break through the last 15 seconds so it was pretty nice win there yeah and if you guys asking me why i haven't tried a game for top one usually in global tournament the difference must be one win or the same wins or maybe a player higher than you was one win like if i am 40 win I need to face someone who is 39 win or 40 or 41 and he is top 1 so he, he was not searching and here he was 38 win so I couldn't face him like if there were more times uh, that Carl would face Luminary and if one of them had won I could go search like here I was 54 crowns and he was 52 crowns like I needed one more win to to finish the one but i think it's okay top two also is so good i know i finished it before uh seasons ago in my other mini account but yeah i think it's good it's good like hopefully next time i can finish the one and yeah i want to thank you guys for for supporting and watching me till the end um and if, i promise you if i saw uh, support to me i would i would trying to improve my commentary and i go in ladder push and giving more tips of, about my deck in in some ladder uh, pushing games and also we can try other decks too like me other meta decks too and i say what i'm thinking about uh, on my mental mental process during the game yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in next video bye